This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, June the 10th, 2019. It's the newish feast of Mary, Mother of the Church. It's not new by any means as a title, but it's new in that Pope Francis added it to the liturgical calendar in 2018. The title Mater Ecclesiae first found its way into print in the 4th century with St. Ambrose of Milan. Pope St. John Paul II was a big fan of the title, and it was used by Pope Benedict XIV in 1748 and then by Pope Leo XIII in 1885 and again by the Second Vatican Council. Now, special titles for the Blessed Virgin Mary are one of those interestingly Catholic things that doesn't really seem to originate from anywhere in that they seem to originate from everywhere. The Jews had a long tradition of using titles to describe God because the name of God could be written but not spoken. So there are a slew of what we call circumlocutions. Instead of saying the formal name of God, Yahweh, the teacher in the temple would say Elohim or Baruch Hashem. Now, of course, at the time of the Gospels, most people, and certainly women, didn't have surnames. And so descriptive titles like Judas the Iscariot or Mary of Clopas were typical. Early on, Mary the Mother of Jesus and Mary the Mother of God were common ways to describe Mary of Nazareth. As the ancient world gave way to the medieval, these titles became more theologically complex and we got Mary Seat of Wisdom or Mary Ark of the New Covenant or Mary Undoer of Knots and the like. Some are distinctly modern titles like Mary Queen of the Universe and Mary Mother of the New Evangelization. To say that Mary is the mother of the church is to acknowledge the role she played in nurturing and uniting the apostles and in being a visible image of the gentle love of God that the church must embody. As with all these titles, the words aren't so much praise for her as they are meant to express the mystery of the church, which is in some way embodied and revealed by the person of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary, Mother of God, says more about the human nature of Christ than it does about the Virgin Maiden from Nazareth, just as Mary, Seat of Wisdom and Mary, Queen of Apostles does. Today in 1935, Dr. Robert H. Smith took his last drink in Akron, Ohio. He had been trying to stop drinking alcohol for years, but it was a chance encounter with a man named Bill Wilson at a support group that led him to found a new organization that combines support groups with a series of steps, 12 steps in fact, towards sobriety. And so today is considered the birthday of Alcoholics Anonymous. AA has helped countless addicts over the last 80 years by combining the accountability of a small group with the goal-oriented steps, which include admitting one is powerless over one's addiction, turning oneself over to a higher power, making an honest self-inventory with the help of a sponsor, and then working to make amends. Then the addict is able to establish for himself a discipline of life and maintain it by helping others. The system is really just the Christian journey of conversion oriented toward a specific kind of sin which it's impossible to ignore or justify away. Now, AA is a loose organization with loose record keeping for obvious reasons. Still, the international leadership of AA believes that over 2 million individuals are currently in recovery and attending meetings with countless others who have been helped in some way, shape, or form. And finally, today is the birthday in 323 BC of Alexander the Great. He was a natural leader and a military strategist who quite literally conquered the world with his inventive hinged battle lines, a technique which the Romans would steal and call the maniple. Alexander died young and somewhat suddenly in the field at the age of 33. Sadly, his incredible battle instincts didn't translate to leadership and his efforts were for naught when he left no heir apparent and his three main generals set the world in chaos fighting for power. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.